We gotta say wow. hi to Jason Fisher. Hey, hey Jason, how are you? Oh, What's up, <laughs> man? It's a crazy, crazy day in here. I'm sorry we made you wait out it's there. It's all right, man. It's all right. Yeah. What's up? <laughs> I'm tired, man. I'm fucking... Yeah. What is this? Getting up so early, what right? Man, I'm fucking exhausted, man. But you know, I'm, I'm happy, to, <clears throat> happy to be here. Are you? What time yeah. do you do your shows? Uh, eight, eight o'clock. Eight. Yeah. Uh, uh, so it's you, you're a sleep all day guy, right? Yeah, I like sleep. And, and then you yeah. can stay up, kind of. Late at night. And then I, yeah, oh yeah, and, and then I'm a little <laughs> after the show. I'm a little wired after the show, and then I hang out. Yeah, and just kind of like you know play a computer game. God and, damn, I miss afternoons. I know because that's what it was all about. It was all about you. You do your show in the afternoon, and then it ends in the early evening. You are out till all hours. It doesn't matter if you can't be to work <laughs> by eight o'clock at night. <laughs> yeah, got no, a you, you got a problem. You got issues. You got issues. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> it is perfect. And for us, three in the afternoon. Alarm. I had to be to work at three in the afternoon. Yeah, no. You can't swing that up. You deserve to be home. I didn't even know what an alarm clock was until no, a year ago. No, you didn't need one. I actually went shopping yeah, for an alarm clock. I'm like, <laughs> people buy these things? Now I got the best job in the world, and still, when that alarm goes off and I sit on the edge of the bed for a minute, all that's coming out of my mouth is, motherfucker, Dude, shit, <laughs> this fucking sucks. And then I'm just running through the commute in my head yeah. and all You curse every shit. morning, right? Every morning. My alarm goes off, and I, I'm amazed by the curse words that come out of me immediately. And it's the greatest job in the world. I talk to myself. I'm like, this is my big one. Holy shit, you got to be fucking kidding me. <laughs> I say that every morning to myself. It's a good one. Yeah, it's a good You use that one. Yeah, no, a little bit, a little bit. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, you yeah, can curse. We're doing the satellite radio I know. Thing. You yeah, used that one this right. morning. Okay, good. Yeah, use that one this morning. Cool. Uh, yeah. Do you stay in character when you're not on the stage? A little bit, man. I mean, like a little. I mean, like the persecuted part. Yeah. You know, for sure. <laughs> like, I guess gonna... He's playing Lenny Bruce. On uh, off Broadway, I went the other night. It was amazing. Thank Did you, you write this, or is this something you like audition for? Uh, yeah, I just auditioned, man. Yeah, just auditioned. It's called know. Lenny Bruce in his own words, and basically he's doing uh, Lenny uh, bits on stage, right? Yeah, basically, yeah. It's like all his own words. Uh, couple. Is it exact? Yeah, every word that is said in it, he said. Do you have any comic wow. background or anything, or, or no, an actor? Man, I'm an actor, man. So See, that's weird. odd. It, it is, man. I, I've seen a lot of actors attempt to do stand-up comedy in movies or, or yeah. uh, whatever, TV, yeah. and it comes off so poorly. Yeah. They just don't have it in them. This is different because it's kind of you playing. It's kind of both. It's not like you're man? just trying to do a stand-up. It's more capturing his whole persona. That's the idea. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and I must say, but it is like stand-up. It's dependent on the audience for sure. I mean, if we have like a live crowd and I go out there and have a good time and everyone wants to have a good time, you know, it's like you, you have to like develop a relationship with the audience. Whereas when you're doing a play, you just go out there and you do your thing and they watch and if they like it. Da -da -da. So like a stand-up comic, there are some nights you have like a beat oh, audience yeah, man. and fuck some some nights you have a great audience. That is really odd. It yeah. is odd, man. It's a weird Because, really like, when man. the Phantom is playing, every night the guys pretty much know standing they're going to like this, yeah. the standing ovation. Yeah. There. Yeah, yeah. You know, you might get a little variance in there. But to get there and be uh, uh, performing as Lenny Bruce and then have a crowd that's like, eh. Oh, Come yeah. on, funny man, make me fucking laugh. Oh yeah, dude, <laughs> was, I gotta tell you, it was creepy because I've seen enough uh, Lenny Bruce on tape, and when you hit the stage, I'm like, oh my god, he's nailing it. Oh well, thanks. Now, I mean, you look younger than he was at the yeah, time, but yeah, besides yeah. that, you're you're nailing his mannerisms and everything, and he also has. Uh, you you look like you're on pills or something on stage, just slightly, like you're just coming off a little yeah, hangover yeah, or something. That's the, that's the thing. That, that man. subtle touch. I'm like, yeah. wow, that's what Lenny Bruce think was doing every. I don't think that's him playing Lenny <laughs> Bruce. No, I think that's him. Dude, I quit everything, man. <laughs> Did you? I quit everything to do this, man. Oh, to do this? It's been, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like right <laughs> before that audition. Did this thing, you know, no, man. I'm so yeah. It's like the opposite. I had to go like yeah. the opposite way in order to be able to do it. And then all of like, a sudden like, he's wow. on stage. And I know it was part of the play. And all of a sudden, like, he forgets the bit. Like Lenny used to do, and then Lenny's just trying to like find his way back to where he was. Like he's doing all that on stage. It was it was That's well cool. well done. Thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I gotta see this. Yeah, people seem to dig it. You know what I mean? It's weird. You know, it's like yeah, there's different houses. You know, sometimes people are there to laugh. Sometimes people are there to watch a play. And it, you know, it's in a theater. We did it in L.A. It was in a nightclub. Some people get to a nightclub. They were eating the steak and they were doing this and they were doing that. So they, they, there wasn't as much um, sort of focus on the guy in front of them. And it, you know, it had more of that like verite feel. But we're in the theater. And New York, so it's like you really gotta, you know, you really gotta engage them like flat out, you know. What yeah. I and mean? you can't just be like, oh well, I'll dick around and they'll do their thing, mm -hmm. and then eventually something will happen, and they'll watch what they want to watch, and this one they want, they can eat their steak, this that. They're there and they're sitting there and they're like, okay, you know, here comes the play. They're I'm in New York, attention. you know what I mean? And, yeah. and it's like that can be a terrific thing if I take the time to fucking look at them and you know fucking say, hey, how are you? Actually, deal with the people that are in front of me. Right. You know what I'm saying? 
I, I, I was so uncomfortable, and I, I got to blow up your spot slightly. Like all of a sudden, and, and you got to, you got to walk us through this. The first time you had to do this, when all of a sudden you had to like point at the audience and go, "All right, so how many niggers oh, are out yeah. there tonight?" Yeah. I went, "Oh my! I know you're acting, but I'm like, holy crap! Someone is going to get pissed off. Tell it doesn't that. matter that he's doing what Lenny Bruce did and all that, and, and it's based on Lenny Bruce's words. The I first know. time you hit the stage and you knew you had to do that, what was going through your head? No, yeah, man. I mean, it was definitely, you know, I, I definitely am kind of like. Uh, it's like this me being scared and being all like liberal. Because they also turn yeah. the lights on, just like I guess Lenny Bruce used to do. All right, turn on the turn on the lights. Open point out who's and in then, the house. Yeah. And the bit is how he's pointing out all ethnic groups because then he goes, uh, Oh, and there's a kike, there's a wop, there's this, yeah, there's that. Yeah, but yeah, he starts yeah. with how many niggas are out there. Yeah, I'm like, line, Holy yeah. crap, someone's going to jump on the stage and hit him. I know. I mean, um, and the thing of it is, is like, I got to be honest with you, like the actor behind it all kind of like gets off on how uncomfortable it makes me feel to do it. <laughs> you know, really? I'll be honest. I'd be like, Lying if I said that wasn't true. But then you're actually pointing at black people. But I'm that's... not. But dude, no. Good <laughs> Good on. Oh, you know what? No, no, no. <laughs> then you blew it when I saw you because I was uh, like one row behind a, a lovely couple, and it looked like you were pointing well, right at them. It's like Maybe I, the lights were too bright. Like you didn't I realize. I am, and I'm not, and I, you know what I mean. I gotta pretend, you know, yeah. whatever. But like, no, I never. I don't actually. Yeah. You know. So hey, you. Out, <laughs> I can't. I can't do that. But no, it makes me uncomfortable. But at the same time, I was like, wow. I know this is a play, but that has got to be yeah. uncomfortable. But then where it goes, I think is really. Oh cool. yeah. Then it. Then it all makes. Sense, exactly. At I, first, I, it's the shock value, like, oh my god, he just said that. Yeah. But that's what Lenny's doing. That's what it's works, about. Right? Removing the power of that awful word. Yeah, you got it. It's like, yeah, exactly. He's like, you know, if it, if nigger lost meaning, they're gonna mean anything. You know what I mean? Right. Say that word. That's a terrible word. It right? is a terrible. That's word, XM satellite. Uh, yeah, it's a terrible side. word. I'm not, you should you know, hear it at the business meetings uh, behind the scenes. They use it all the time. We all say it on certain days. Terrible. Just listen to how fucking wonderful everybody feels. They can have this intelligent conversation just say. Nigger. <laughs> hey man, you know, we're taking the power out of the word. Yeah, we're taking the power out of the word. Nigger. That's what's so great. You know, you have to learn to take the power out the word. Coon and porch monkey. Any porch monkeys in the house? Hey man, that's the thing here on XM when you can just have a free. Now, do you get do you get real nervous when you say nigger? And no, I never get nervous when I say nigger. Do you ever do hey, variations like add other, a, add other nouns? Like this would have been a much nigger. easier interview if you weren't here. Nigger. Nigger. I'll be honest with you. How about nigger? You ever tried different? <laughs> you ever tried nigger. How nigger? How did that roll off your tongue? Any nigger's here? Why couldn't Say you be on Man Cow Show Say and Bill way. Burr be here today? <laughs> yeah. Fucking intelligent conversation. Well, Get to use the word nigga. That's right. First usage of the word nigga, I believe, was in 1703. When a lot of people don't know this. <laughs> we look forward to the days where we could say that uh, word openly. But they spell nigga with three Gs. You speak nigga. But during the great uh, ink embargo of 1782, <laughs> they uh, took a G out to save on ink. Save a lot of ink. <laughs> they used to write that word a lot. Stop wasting that extra G on them niggas. <laughs> Holy uh, shit. <laughs> I'm just listening to this hey, horse shit. It's well, not horse it's shit. Not, it, dude, it's if not, you were in the, not, in, in the theater, it, it was it a very it interesting is, thing that is. went on. I understand the context of this conversation. I don't have the balls to, to uh, you know, do what he's doing and then get on the stage and start pointing out things because it's part of what Lenny Bruce let did. Me ask, That's oh, okay, let me ask you a question. Are, are, you, are you saying that people are no, kind of I, enjoying, I, comfortably saying they're going to black guy? It's him no. being, it's the comfortable, you're it's right. The, the it's legitimate the, it's the, context. It's the validation of yes. that you can actually get to say it because it's in the context of oh, right. talking about this. I'm not, the best don't, part don't was, wrong. the best part where we all made believe we didn't see you back up and fold your hands. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, that was yeah. fun. Oh, that was good. Yeah. Fold your arms. <laughs> fun part of it. Yeah. Like, 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 oh, damn, going, here they right, go again. Right, right. let, <laughs> let me not interrupt this, this, this very heartwarming <laughs> and touching rendition of Nigger. And <laughs> All I'm saying is well, I'm, I'm pointing out that the guy's got balls to do that. He brought it up as a shit. Wait till they do the no, wait till they do the prior story and he's up there going, you know, hey and white people when they're doing this. Uh, but somehow uh, that doesn't do anything. Nobody right. cares. Exactly, because Whitey cares. is afraid we're scared shitless. It's we, not 
Oh, uh, no, because we don't, you <laughs> yeah. know, because we know that it's like, hey, whitey. Yeah. Oh, my God. The, that's the, the worst. Word, yeah, it the, word, the word is almost complimentary yeah, right, to your power. Like, you got, uh-oh, cracker. <laughs> the cracker's coming down on me. Crackers is, is the name of the fucking, the, the, the sound the of witness anyway. The man. Oh, like, but, Nick, it, that's where the word cracker came from. I thought because they were like white. No, because it comes. salty. Com- <laughs> I was yummy with peanut butter on it. Crack of the wood. <laughs> it's the crack of the whip. The crack of the so- I'm, I swear. I had no I, idea until today. Yeah, man. it's the crack of the whip. And I I oh. really want to find a word that makes white people go, oh, like, d- as an abusive word. But, but stick crack them up. And yeah. hu- stick them up. <laughs> stick, <laughs> stick them up, Caucasian. How about, how about I just move next door? <laughs> <laughs> Howdy, neighbor. Howdy, neighbor. Howdy, neighbor. <laughs> neighbor. God, God, neighbor. That's it. Hey, you fucking redneck neighbor. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's horrible. Oh, jeez. I'm sorry. Look, it wasn't Bob. Oh. It just, I was just like, it's starting to laugh. I knew how to call us out. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. Wonderful, no, it was loving conversation with Nigger. Nigger. Around. Hey, it, was, well. yeah. it was just very interesting to me when I went and saw the play. That's yeah, all. Yeah, you know. It's, uh, it's and let's all remember, <laughs> Opie brought it yeah. up. And did yeah. it, Opie did say it twice. And Opie yeah. did look that way, but he didn't. <laughs> hey, I rarely yeah. say that word on this show. Oh, uh, look at that. Look at that beautiful butterfly, <laughs> Nigger. <laughs> <laughs> on this show. What yes, what? on this Dri- show. Driving right. around the city is another story. And- <laughs> I never heard such a loving conversation with Nick. Why are you just this loving? loving. It <laughs> love fest. Oh. Let me back up. Sorry. <laughs> All right, get back over there. Yeah, get back over there. <laughs> <laughs> All the truck drivers like, oh, man, I was getting into that. Well, Jeez. Into it. God damn, he had to ruin the whole goddamn thing. <laughs> Finally relating to this stupid show. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. They backed off the mics again. <laughs> well, maybe it's the Fact that they're Gavin. back. Maybe it's the fact that Gavin is here, and he, Gavin's against the wall, and his cock is still hitting the console. He can't fit in the studio. <laughs> he's straddling the console. That's fucking huge. Oh wait, we got a white a word that pisses white people off. Patrice, you suggested this. It's gonna get ugly. I, I need one. I need uh, one. K in Jersey. Hey, what's up? What's up? I got a word that pisses off white folks, yeah. man. Fucking Yaku. You got to Google it. I'm not Muslim, but I use it like fucking 50 times a day in my house. And it, it's, it's something that's real derogatory towards white yeah. people. Yaku? Yaku. No, Yaku? None of us no. know that. I know what it is. Is that why people got sent to the caves? I'll tell you what Yaku is. He's the he's the Muslim mad scientist yes. that created white people. Now Muslims are really good at degrading white folks because they don't think you exist. You were you were made in a in a um in a in a laboratory, and when, and when it and the and in the in the Bible when they say there was at there was darkness and God said let there be light. That was Yaku creating uh, white people on Earth. It's not actual oh, light that you can like see. it's not like literally it's darkness crackers. and it's light. It's crackers. Let there be crackers. So blue eyed devil Yaku is the mad scientist. All right. And he was white, by the way. I don't find that as an insult at all. Exactly. Not at all. It's I not an insult. Let's the property lie. value is shit on the planet, and he wanted to bring it up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Get, God said, let there not be graffiti. God damn mom. it, we need a supervisor. <laughs> Let's go to Eric. Eric, what's up? Hey, what's up? <laughs> I just want to thank Patrice O'Neill for explaining Cracker. It's no longer an insult. Now it's a compliment. It's call, call me a nigger beater. Oh, wow. Way well, to take okay. the It looks so much better on Way the to take the fun out of things. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go to John on Long Island. John, what's up? Yo, what's up, guys? You guys are fucking hysterical. Um, a point. Niggers are the only people who call themselves by their own derogatory term. Like, if they see a friend walk into the room, yo, what's up, my nigga? First of all, don't you hear what they were just talking about? That's the point that we, right. that white people, they just had this conversation about how to take the sting out of our word. But right. it was it was created. The word nigger came from the fact that you, you didn't feel like saying Negro. It, it was it was your own dumbness. That created the word nigger because it was negro, nigger, <laughs> nigger, <laughs> and it can't nigger. And and, and and now we use it as our thing, what's up, as a term of endearment. But I'm sitting here listening to white people philosophy about nigger. <laughs> Shut up. Philosophy. And they do, that's not true. Other people do uh, 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 address ourselves like that. Are you kidding me? Hey, what's up? <laughs> you, th- you think I don't see? You think I don't see Anthony and go? Uh, Hello, good citizen. <laughs> Hello, law-abiding, <laughs> law-abiding gentleman. <laughs> Hello, tax-paying gentleman. How you doing? Let's go to Newburgh. <laughs> Tim, what's up? 
neighbor. Hey, I got a word that white fathers don't like to hear from black guys. Yeah. <laughs> Father-in-law. Oh, it's oh, black yeah, guy. Right, oh, he's because he's, see what I'm saying? Do you see how difficult it is? I, I, I'm, I really want to find a word that is the, is the, is the, is the match to nigga. Like they, they've yeah, been but looking they, for but years. I don't know fucking stain. But what about? But I mean, it's like you know, like kike. You know, that's that's Jew. Yeah, well, that's but, pretty but, bad. But everybody, everybody has these, one. Everybody has a what? I mean, because what? What? Like the what? Wasp? That's the scary word. I mean, what are you talking? That's talking not, about yeah. white people. You no, talking about fucking? It's like okay, like you just said, kike. Will get a Jew a little bit mm -hmm. fucking get his nose in a bunch. If you said, if you said <laughs> out loud to uh, a Jewish, but you fucking kike, what? You fucking spick, you fucking. Gook. And yet at this, year, but there's no word that you can say to white people. Black to people, people are white people, categorized, white right? People? Black people right, are right, subcategorized. Right. Where American black people, the word nigger is a lot worse than it is. Uh, maybe you go down to the islands. And and use the word. No, nigger is has Bad traveled everywhere. the globe. Yeah. It has a passport. Yeah. You, <laughs> <laughs> it's got a lot of stuff. Nigger yeah. cannot <laughs> nigger cannot get through the metal detector. <laughs> An aboriginal. <laughs> you can't. If you call aboriginal a nigger, yeah. he'd be like you. It it it. it it's the worst racial gonna hit you slur with that going. Stupid the problem is play. white people <laughs> covers too many different groups, which do have their own slurs. Yeah. Like like when you think of white people, you do kind of think of Jews and Italians and Irish. No, you don't. And they're all covered. Yeah, you'd like, why is he white people? Like, the Irish are, are mixed and the Nick. Italians are Dagos. I mean, I call white people coming. nigger. That's what I do on stage. I, no. I comfortably call white people nigger. No, don't that's do that. Not, no. What I'm no. Hey. What I'm if, I'm if, it's if it's truly a, a non offensive word, that's yeah. what I, what's up, nigga? By the way, I want to thank up, Jason man? Fisher for getting Patrice so heated today. Sorry, yeah, no, my that's pleasure, not, man. man. <laughs> I, I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. We were having a fun show before you got in here. I didn't even know that motherfucker Lenny Bruce did that shit. I just play him on the stage, man. Don't. Yeah. No, Thanks a lot, Jason. I like it, man. Yeah, my pleasure, man. My Wait, pleasure. Jason, I got to plug the thing, too. It's called, in his own words, uh, the Zipper Theater. Yeah. Um, it's Monday through Friday at 8 o'clock, Saturday at 8 and 10. And that's a 90-minute play, and uh, it ends uh, February 25th. So definitely go check that it's out. It's amazing. I Get really enjoyed myself. Did you just One act to... play, by the way. No intermission. No intermission. He just straight goes. Shot. Straight Did shot. you have to paw through, like, a bunch of his material or uh, you know anything what? that's available? You or, know, like, I don't know. I should have, I think, but I didn't. You know what I'm saying? Like Would a, that have made you do more of an impression yeah. of them? Than, I'm than, not good at like imitating people, like being like, you know, do this or you know. It's do better like just to person. capture the uh, essence, essence of what he was all about yeah. than try just, to do the, an impression you got it. Uh, of you the got guy. It. Because so many people got so many ideas about the guy, and I was just mm -hmm. like, you know, fuck it. You know, I mean, like I kind of get it. I kind of feel like I get it. Have so. there been people that have known him personally oh, that yeah. came if, up to you? Everybody and, you've ever met over forty has apparently met the yeah. man, loved the man. What's their reaction to what you're doing? They like it, man. I mean, you know, some of them say. You know, oh, he never did this on stage. He never did that on stage. You know, he never did. And then some people are just like, you got him exactly. You know, yeah. and some people are like, oh, you got this part of him and this and that. But I got to say, like, there is like, you know, the, the, the people like who did dig him and did like him. Uh, they like what's being done for that reason. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I think that some people like the show and some people get a kick out of it. But the people who really liked him are like, this is a really cool way to, you know, and, and the material the holds up. By the way, because the you know you're doing bits that are well over forty years old and they hold up to today's standards. You yeah. know, it's talking about the war and politics. Yeah, the and, words themselves and you organized know? religion and all that stuff I, is still happening today. At least with Lenny, the sentiment was I think very sincere, as opposed to comics today. Like there's a lot of comics today that try to do racial stuff and then apologize for it after. <laughs> it's just a phony sentiment and it's mm -hmm. a, it's an excuse just to do racist material. They don't have the balls to do without a forced apology. Yeah, but I think what Lenny did it was it was very very. Uh, Sincere, at least in the moment. I think that that's true, man. I mean, I think that he was. I mean, having nothing to do with the racist thing, but having to do with the fact that of the sincerity of the guy is that like he wasn't like just like some irreverent crackpot dude being like anything for a laugh. He like you know had like a sense of integrity and stuff. I mean, he was. He seems like he was actually a really cool guy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I don't know. Hey, uh, one of our friends, he played Lenny Bruce too. Oh, they found it. Oh, we got a little yeah, taste of Rich Voss doing Lenny Bruce. Oh wow. I told a friend of mine that I was going to see uh, the Lenny Bruce thing you're shit. doing, and yeah. he was pissed off because he, he couldn't believe there was a Lenny Bruce role out there, and he didn't get the call. He didn't get the call. <laughs> oh. Here's uh, Rich Voss doing Lenny Bruce. Equestrian, or whatever you call it, always in the saddle, if you know what I mean. Right? She always had to be on top. Like I was some kind of horse or something. You know? That's right. Women like to be on top. <clears throat> That's Lenny Bruce. What about you? You like the top, or are you more into that traditional garden variety sex? Traditional. I don't think you. Hi, Sean. You got an answer for me yet? How many times a day? Three, seven. 
That was it? A little that taste. Was, <laughs> should, should, we'll uh, we'll get more. <laughs> that was awesome. That was awesome. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Rich Ball says Lenny Bruce. That, hold on, <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's see if we're going to get along with Jason. What do you think of that, Jason? <clears throat> Uh, we're going to see what you're all about right now. What did I think of that? Just, just be yeah. as honest as possible. Uh, he kind of sounded like he was from Jersey. Like, <laughs> Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Lenny Bruce in his own slurs. <laughs> Watch out, man. This, is, right. this is very t- traditional. <laughs> hey, officer, get the fucking hands off me. The government's trying to arrest me, and I'm dodging them. <laughs> dodging them. <laughs> I'm, I'm being groundbreaking here. He sounded more like Le- Lenny. Oh, I fucked oh, I bailed on oh, it before I did it. Yeah. I couldn't think of a Lenny awful enough to compare that to. He sounded I don't like anyone but Lenny Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. That was really bad. <laughs> and he thought he, he should He sounded like Lenny, Lenny Bobinny. I <laughs> couldn't think of a... Lenny from of Mice and Men. <laughs> Lenny, Lenny, Lenny. Lenny and Squiggy. Lenny what and dumb Squiggy. Lenny did he sound like besides not Lenny Bruce? Oh, oh my God. Man. Awful. Lenny and Mice and Men is pretty good. Yeah. Oh, he was fucking awful in that. <laughs> and he was mad because, uh, you know, we were supposed to do dinner. I'm like, no, I'm going to go see this Lenny Bruce yeah. thing. What? Someone else is playing me? him? They it's, didn't call me? It's only because <laughs> Voss's pseudo rat face kind of looks a little like Lenny in a certain part. That's the only reason they cast yeah. him. is because there's a slight physical Where did they do it? What did he do? American Dream, that TV oh. show? I don't know if it's still oh, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we write it so he has a wife named Bonnie who joins him <laughs> on the stage? Because I can't go anywhere without her. Because Lenny was in a, he was an irreverent guy. He is a friend of ours, by the way. Jason. I figured as much. I, I swear, swear to you. Those who and Voss is not we irreverent. Treat our friends. I figured. All right. No. Voss is a meat and potatoes idiot. There's nothing <laughs> clever be, about Voss. This may be sacrilege, but I I I thought Lenny did a service. I never thought Lenny Bruce was funny. But no. I thought I thought what he did was necessary to, for the next level. I you think for I mean? the and for the time, you got to take it in the context. Yeah, it was the context. context. He was, was like, he was wow. very important. Yeah. Holy but he never shit. made me laugh. I listened to Lenny Bruce Day, and it just doesn't make me laugh. But it, the you next... think watching like the, the Texaco Star Theater <laughs> stuff is going to make you laugh? Like watching uh, something on HBO now? Or Slapstick no, holds not, up I mean, more than poignant humor. Don't, I think silly holds me, up. I'm just <laughs> I am attacking I'm, I'm just saying. I, I, I just never thought Lenny. He's a comic. He's a, he's important, but he didn't make me laugh. I got a social confession. I got a confession. Sinbad ne- never made me laugh. He I never made me laugh. That, nigga. Oh. No, <laughs> Sinbad. Sinbad's not funny. Nope. <laughs> Jesus. No. Motherfucker, you pick the nigga to fuck with. Sinbad is that's really Sinbad now. He's sailing around the world fighting. Uh, fighting he's actually, he's actually Sinbad. Six arms with swords coming at him. <laughs> he's fighting. He's fighting one-eyed tigers now. <laughs> and you niggas like Sinbad sucks. No, he he's gonna sail back here like oh. <laughs> Sinbad. I heard you motherfuckers talking shit. Now, hold up, bitch. I'm going to finish fighting all these Indians with these giant swords. <laughs> Actual Sinbad. No, Sinbad, is that his name or two words that describe his act? Uh, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, my God, just pick Sin. We talk, I go Lenny Bruce. You motherfuckers go Sinbad. That's right, we did. Fucking, did yeah. Did you see what you do? I'm sorry. That's right, we did. Yeah, Lenny Bruce you was You think a- I was going to pull out Richard Pryor? I'm not well, stupid. what about Shecky Jones, nigga? <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I, yeah, I think like so, like like the stories and whatever. I, like when he when he, just, when he just talked about his own life, he was pretty funny. It's not it's the not, bits. I, the bits themselves. I, he's I think, important. Think. He's yeah, an yeah, important yeah. guy. Just never. Mm-hmm. Never. I, I don't listen to him. He was go, a great satirist. Uh, I don't laugh as hard. I've, I've laughed at Lenny's stuff, but I'd I say the majority the of it, I just yeah. enjoyed for what it was <clears throat> as a piece of social commentary. Like, it he was never one really of the first guys to call people out on stuff. Yeah, he was. Like he was talking about you know religion and stuff no, like he that was, he was impo- he was a g- he was the most important person to comedy but it was like he was being more important than he was being a funny dude i think carlin and Pryor incorporated the freedom that he gave comedy into comedy like funny jokes and he, stuff, he was yeah. getting arrested for just saying shit he got arrested yeah. for saying yeah. cocksucker yeah. yeah man so he was a ground he was groundbreaking man but you know in terms of funny the next guys used what he did right. as funny and now know, we just say cocksucker on the radio and they pay us Right. Look at that. Look at look at how times have changed. How far hey, we've I don't know come. if we can get this in, but there was a teacher that was suspended for using the N-word. It's a story that's happening today. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? What teacher? Discussing. There's the old you. N-I-G-G-A <clears throat> version. 
So uh, he thought he was okay. Now there's two versions. I'm going to tell you how phony white people are, and this is what y'all mm -hmm. going to do to yourselves. Because black right. people never do it. You do it to yourselves. The N-word itself yeah. is going to be something you're not going to be able to say soon. That's how much is, hey, man, you know, you, you hear Howard the N-word. What? No. <laughs> why did you say that? Yeah, it goes back to the whole thing. Oh, but I'm just saying, watch. It's like it's yeah. so fucking... All right, here we go. Know. That's going to turn into a it's taboo a word. We're running out of show, so let's uh, listen to this real fast. <clears throat> Well, it is a word that evokes many emotions in people. It's a derogatory Joy, racial false, remark that laughter. has divided people for many years. And a Jefferson County High School teacher has now received the longest suspension on record for calling a student the N-word. WHAS Levin's defender, Renee Murphy, investigates what happened and why in this story you'll only see on 11. Go. Valley Traditional High School is in the middle of a racial controversy right now. A teacher used the N-word towards a student. The I word is only six letters word. long, but the impact six is far-reaching. And we do want to warn you that know. some of the language in this <laughs> story is strong. Uh -oh. It may offend you, it warning. may offend some other people. But since the story the is not just about the N-word, it's also ah. about the teacher's intent and definition of the word, we have decided to leave it in the story for you oh, to you're decide. So Here we go. What did he say specifically? to you. Sit down, nigga. Whoa! Keyshawn Chambers is a freshman at Valley High School, a Boy Scout, a football player, a member of the ROTC, an honor roll student. <laughs> he was hanging around his teacher's classroom door in December. The teacher told him to sit down, and the teacher says that Keyshawn used the N-word first. And I just kind of was stunned a second. Well, 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 then get away from the door, nigga. And I was just... I repeated the same insult because that's sort of what I've been trained to do. What? Wow. What happened? Is the teacher black or white? <clears throat> he, sounds, <throat> he sounds blackish, though. He's a little black. I in can't that voice. tell. I cannot tell. Black or white? White guy. No, he's a white guy. Okay. okay. He's yeah. Guy. He's finished. Yeah, We're running out of show. I got another clip yeah. here to get to. Why? Why is this word used so frequently? So I just, I just don't understand it, and, and I'm trying to understand it. I need help. Yes, I I use nigga. I'll, <laughs> I I've, I've used it. I admit it. I put the H on it to emphasize it's nigga. <laughs> you know, nigga, nigga, this nigga, nigga, please, nigga. Can, you know, can you lend a nigga a pencil? <laughs> <laughs> like can you teacher. get a nigga a job? <laughs> this guy him. is gone. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna hire him. He's a genius. <laughs> this, this guy, guy genius. is gone. Yo, give a nigga his walking papers. <laughs> <laughs> One more short clip here. Dawson was suspended for 10 days without pay from January 9th to January 23rd, and he has to go to diversity training. Oh, he says learned from this nice. experience and well, hopes that others well, think cured. twice diversity. before using I mean, the I'm N word. Cured. I will never say any form of nigga. I, you know, I'm cured of that. Cured. Paul Dawson says that he is sorry for the way that things were handled, but Keyshawn says that he is not looking for any apologies. He's apologizing is going to change the fact that it happened and he's not been punished. Oh, shut up. And punishment in your mind is? Him not having his job anymore. Oh, of yeah. Stop. Yeah, fire that, huh? You're right. If fire it was a black teacher, else. it wouldn't even be a, oh, an issue. It oh, happens we can call every you crackers. Day. We can call, we can call little white yeah. teachers can call, uh, yeah. I mean, black teachers can call white kids it's crackers. It's different, though. It's different. Yeah. Sit, Sit down. Trouble. Sit, Sit down, down cracker. Okay. Sit your crack ass down, will he? Black teachers First say of that? all, the white kids should have been in a better school district. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Secondly, you wouldn't care. <laughs> All right, we got to get out of here for the weekend. And uh, thanks to Jason Fisher. Yeah, yeah thanks. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Jason, yeah, thank one, you, nigga. Once again, I saw, <laughs> it, I saw it two days ago, and the play was <laughs> unbelievable. It's the Zipper Theater, West 37th Street, every day of the week, Monday through Friday, 8 p.m. shows, Saturday, 8 p.m. and 10 p.m., right? Cool, yeah, come on out. Yeah, definitely. It's uh, Lenny Bruce in his own words. It's an off Broadway show with Jason Fisher. And 2020 tonight, uh, I'll be on. All right. Nice, yeah, nice. 10 o'clock on uh, ABC. Oh, Web Junk's coming on tonight. Web Junk 20, oh, the new episode of that. On VH1, wow. We got a 30 on VH1, so you can watch 2020 for an hour, whack your bag real quick, and then uh, watch uh, Web Junk. <laughs> Get a half hour to scrap. And in Anthony and I will be appearing on our website. Yeah, <laughs> so, I'll be on Pal Talk. Yeah, right. yeah. Some clips from uh, the Super Bowl from yesterday, the beast thing and thing. The clips are going up uh, all weekend long, okay? Mm -hmm. We have time to play a couple of what have we learned here. Ooh. Let's go to Pat in Boston. Pat, what's up? English dicks all smell like feet, nigga. Uh, Keith in Ohio. Keith? Yeah. What's up? 
Hey, uh, I want to play what you learn. Yeah. Yeah, when you wash your dick, there should be no step two. Very good. We did learn that. And Rob on Long Island. Rob? How you doing, guys? Hey. How you doing, baby Lysandria? How's it going? All right. Yeah, I, I learned that a... Uh, I learned that an unclipped dick coming looks like a caterpillar weaving a weaving a cocoon. Yeah, that was a good line. Fezzy? Any balls today? No, no. <laughs> Damn it, I knew it was too good to be true. Program complete.